The idea is simple. You have a virtual pet on a TFT LCD screen that you take care of by feeding it, playing with it, and monitoring its stats. But what set this version apart is the Wi-Fi based feeding system. That's right. You can actually scan for available Wi-Fi networks and feed your pet. I wanted the interface to feel modern and engaging, so I focused on creating a clean, colorful design and easy to navigate. The animations were an important part of bringing the pet to life, from its movements to small actions. For the graphics and character design, I didn't start from scratch. Instead, I used some amazing free assets I found on the internet. I put all the links in the project GitHub repository. It took some time to get everything right. There were some challenges along the way, adjusting colors, fine tuning frame rates, but after that, it worked. Huge shout out to the creators, their work made it so much easier to bring this project to life. Next, I designed a PCB in Altium Designer. The goal was to fit all the components like buttons, screen, microcontroller on a compact board while keeping everything connected properly. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you're looking to bring your electronics project to life, look no further than GLC PCB. EDA software for seamless design, high quality PCB manufacturing and complete PCBA assembly. Simply head over to glcpcb.com, upload your PCB design files, select your preferences and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. JLC PCB is offering massive discount and incredible giveaway during its Black Friday sale. Enjoy saving of up to $252 and guaranteed prize with every entry, including a chance to win a Samsung gaming monitor or DJI drone. Visit the link in the description down below for exclusive deals and a chance to win amazing prizes. Now let's talk about the components. For the heart of the project, I used an ESP32, a powerful microcontroller that handles all the processing. Our Tamagotchi should be portable, so I added a TP4056 for charging the battery. I also added the LF33 voltage regulator to make sure everything gets the right power. For the USB connection, I went with a CP2102 USB 2 UR chip, which is reliable for cellular communication. The TFT LCD ST7789 screen is what displays everything, giving the pet its personality. I also included some micro switches for the buttons, a buzzer for the sound effects, and the WS2812 LED for lighting up. The pet's mood. Soldering all these components together was a bit tricky, but it was satisfying to see everything comes together. Once the electronics were sorted, it was time to give our little digital pet a proper home, a 3D printed case. I designed the case using Blender. After designing and 3D printing the case, I decided to give it a slick black finish. But let me tell you, it didn't turn out quite how I imagined. The details didn't pop and it just didn't match the playful vibe of the project. So for now, I've decided to set it aside and let the exposed electronics do the talking. And here it is, the final result. After all the design, soldering and coding, the pet is up and running. We've got the TFT screen displaying the pet's status, all the buttons working as expected, and even the little animations to bring the pet to life. Right now, the basic features are all set, but the NeoPixel LEDs and the buzzer will be added in the next update.